What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Let's see. Let's dive in and see what's coming towards you in the next seven days. And what's going to be happening for my Scorpios in the next seven days. Next seven day energy. What's happening for my Scorpios, please? What's happening for my Scorpios in the next seven days? We have beauty. Woo, justice. Ooh, scales balancing. And give me one more. What's going on for Scorpios in the next seven days? I said one. They gave me two. That's cool. Freedom and finding. Okay. So, Scorpio, you're going to be breaking free from something here. Finding your peace, finding happiness here, finding abundance here. The talent card at the bottom of the deck as well. Tapping into your talent, into your intuition here. You got the beauty card. This is about glowing and growing, knowing your worth, knowing your value. This is like the Empress energy as well. Um, knowing what you have to offer. The Justice card is about the scales balancing. It's about karma as well. So good karma, bad karma, just depending on what you put out. And the Freedom card came out with the Finding card. So you're breaking free from something here. You're releasing yourself from something. And you're finding peace. This beautiful, elegant, bright peace here. So I like this. I'm going to clarify those two cards together. So we are going to dive in and see what this is here. For you, Scorpios. Alright, let's see. What is this beauty card about? I was supposed to walk in there and get my coffee and I forgot. <laughs> Alright, what's the beauty card about for my Scorpios? What's the beauty card for Scorpio? The hangman. So, you're working on some type of like creativity outlet or some type of creative outlet here. I got the hangman and the eight of pentacles here. Some of you, you're working on, they just said beauty guru. So some of you could be like starting like a, a beauty page, a beauty following or... It's, it's it's also you loving on yourself here. Ace of Pentacles here. You loving on yourself. Pouring back into your cup. Not really pouring into anybody else's. With the hangman, this is like a temporary pause. It's, it's not something that's meant to last forever. So some of you are just working on yourself. Like working on your glow up. Some of you could be like putting in work like at the gym. Okay. Putting in work on like your finances. Your career here. Ten of Swords. The Emperor and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're stepping in your power. I like this. You're becoming more stable, more grounded here, more in control here. Your creativity is like um, in high performance here as well with this Queen of Cups. So is your intuition. You're just loving on yourself. Like, I feel like, look at, wow, I never realized that. Look at how her cup is freaking glowing. I never realized that. Look at how, I hope y'all can see this. Look at how her cup is glowing. Do you see that? Like, you're pouring in your cup and, like, it's glowing. Like, freaking glowing. Like, people are noticing you. Like, you literally have the sun in your cup. <sighs> That's beautiful. I never noticed that. And I've had this deck for a while. I like that. <laughs> I like that, Scorpio. What about the Justice card here? For my Scorpios. Got the Four of Swords. You're healing. Care about the Justice card for Scorpios. You are healing, Scorpios. There is this, you're healing from some type of wish that didn't come true or some type of wish that didn't happen for you with this Nine of Cups in Reverse and this Four of Swords. And that's okay. The scales are balanced out here. Three of Pentacles as well. Could have been a third party situation for some of you here. Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands. But you got new opportunities coming in. Definitely new opportunities coming in. So whatever didn't work out wasn't meant to work out, Scorpio. Because you got the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Wands at the top of the deck. So you got a lot of new energy coming in. This is like all the Ace. The Ace is new. The Hierophant. This is like new stable connection here with this King of Pentacles. Ooh, this is like long-term commitment. The Knight of uh, Cups and the Knight of Swords. This is like somebody wanting to offer love. This could be two different people, three different people. Hmm. All eyes on you, Scorpio. Give me one more on this Justice card. Give me one more for the Justice card here for my Scorpios. If you feel like you haven't been... Yeah, Page of Pentacles. I see someone wanting to contact you. I see an opportunity here. Someone wanting to message you here. Somebody's actually not happy as well. I'll get some more on that. What is this? See, Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you're in alignment with your higher self, with your divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, King of Cups, the Devil. What is your, oh, Five of Cups. See, something something didn't work out. There was a beginning of some sort. 
that you've been stuck in your head about and it's become quite um, toxic I feel like because you've been like overly focused on it like um, because you've been living in the past basically like you've been stuck in the past about this here because I feel like you really truly did love this person you're coming up as the king of cups you really did truly love this person they just say counterpart so some of you felt like this was your counterpart some of you, this could also be an apology here with this page of cuts because somebody didn't fulfill your wishes. But I feel like it's more so you're starting to plant your seeds elsewhere here. You feel like, some of you feel like, like the energy I'm just getting is like your wish did not come true. Like if you, if you were hoping that somebody would apologize, I feel like it's, well for some of you it's not coming. Why are they giving me that energy? Seven of Pentacles wanted to pop out. Give me one more with this Justice card here. You have the Four of Cups. I don't see it coming. Ace of Cups. And this is from someone. Four of Cups popped out. This is from someone that you truly love. Like you wanted a new start with. But I don't see it coming. Nine of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. At least not right now. The Death card. The Seven of Wands. I feel like by the time it does come, Seven of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, by the time it does come, I don't even think you're going to want it. Because it's like you're protect you're being protected by some type of sneaky, lying, cheating, manipulative type of person. Look at this energy. It's like you're being protected here from something. So even if, even if this person tried to like apologize to you, I feel like it, it would be that day that the phones would fail or like that the lines would go down or something like that. Like it would like spirit would try to block it from it even coming in because it's time for the scales to balance out. Like they, they need to receive their karma and you need to receive yours and whoever, whatever energy you put out is the energy you get back. So if they were putting out bad energy, they're going to get bad energy back. You putting out good energy, you'll get good energy back. Some of you, this is a divorce you're ready to uh, be separated, but you're not happy about it. You wish it would have worked out, but it didn't. This is something you really invested a lot of time into here with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what about the Freedom and Finding card here? It's coming in for Scorpio in the next seven days. The Fool. You're taking a leap now. Okay, so you're moving forward. So this is good. Click on the Freedom and Finding card for Scorpio. The Tower. First of all, I see Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is dope. Okay, this means you're independent now. You're very independent. You're very stable. Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Three. Be careful of anyone coming in trying to reconcile. But like this is what you were originally being protected from, and it's coming back out. Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Three of Cups. Somebody could be coming in with uh, bad intentions, wanting to play on your emotions here, wanting to just get your energy. They could still be dealing with the third party. What? It's like it's like now that they see you glowing up and breaking free and getting away from them, now they want to come in. But why? Why they want to come in now? The fool in the the tower. You don't even see this coming. Why do they want to come in now? Now that you've found peace. Now that you've transformed. Now you, now that you are glowing and growing. Now they want to come in. Hmm. Try the freedom and finding card. To breadcrumb you. <laughs> to fucking breadcrumb you. Six of Pentacles. They want to come in to just breadcrumb you right again. Clarify the freedom and finding card here. The King of Wands energy. Stand in your in your power, Scorpio. And hold back from this person. Four of Pentacles energy. Because they want this cup of love that you have to offer. Look how big this cup of love is, okay? Scorpio, you have a big-ass cup of love to offer. And now they want to come in and get a taste of it because you done took your offer back. Maybe this was you here with the Four of Cups. You took your offer back. You stopped showing them love. You stopped showing them attention. And now they're getting their karma. Five of Cups and the Emperor. They feel guilty about being an asshole. They feel guilty about being stubborn. They feel guilty about choosing other options. Seven of Cups energy. The Eight of Cups. They feel guilty about not walking away from those other options and walking away from you. Because you were stable, King of Pentacles energy. Motherfucker. Hold on. What's the tea on this? Let's get the what's the tea deck. Yeah, I bought this deck off of Etsy and it is so dope. I love this deck. This is what the back of the cards look like, y'all. It says, What's the tea? 
All right, so let's tell me about this person coming towards Scorpio. What what do they want? What does this damn person? All the things you said, all the things you said, running through my head, running through my head, all the things you said. Okay. That is an old song. Hold on. <laughs> all the things you said, all the things you said, running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. I don't know who sung that. That was a song. That was an old song that I used to listen. I used to listen to that when I was younger, y'all. All the things you said, all the things you said, running through my head, running through my head, all the things you said. I don't know who sings that, but that's what I just got as I pulled these cards. It says, caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry, you dirty. I'm not going to laugh. I'm not. This is what the card says, y'all. Look. I'm not going to laugh. So this person this person could have gave you an STD before. Or they've been laying around, dipping it down with their little community ping, community JJ, And now they want to come back. Don't nobody want that dirty stuff? In their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. So now, see, that, as soon as I pulled that card, that's the song that came out. All the things you said, all the things you said, running through my head. So it's like they, they're thinking about the stuff that they said to you or the stuff that you said to them at one point, And it's like they're overanalyzing it. They're stressing out about it. Creativity muncher steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off you. Ugh. This toxic person. What do they want with you, though? Who is this person coming towards Scorpio? What do they want? Who is this person coming towards Scorpio? Family issues, cock blocking. So see, they're they're trying to come back in. This person deals with like could have had like childhood family issues, or this could be someone you have children by. Okay, they're coming in trying to cock block because they see you again, glowing and growing, breaking yourself away from this person here. You're breaking away, like you're breaking out of this cage here. You're letting yourself go, and now they're like coming forward. Obsessive lover. This could be someone that you were in a toxic relationship with. Now they're obsessing over you. Could have been a karmic. What else is coming towards Scorpio? Who is this person coming towards Scorpio? Oh, hell no. No. You got nightmares. Oh, so now they can't sleep. <laughs> now they can't sleep. Insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under eye bags. So they out here looking tired of shit, okay? Looking toe up from the flow up. Looking like they who did it and what for, okay? Because now they can't sleep. Why? Because all the stuff they did to you is, is haunting them? Running. This person's a runner. They run from commitment. Grudge holder. And they got the audacity to hold a grudge against you. An offer. I told you an offer is coming in. An offer is coming in. Too busy, too busy winning, moving. I'm telling you, this is what it is. They see you moving on. They see you being happy, and they're jealous. Too busy winning, moving, happiness hater. They see you moving on. Let me let you see every single one of these cards. Too busy winning, moving, and happiness hater. You're, you're moving on. You're being happy. You're happy. You're fulfilled. And this person doesn't like that. They don't like that you're happy without them. They don't like that you're happy doing your own thing, glowing and growing. They don't like that. So now they want to come in and offer this bloody ass cup. Look at this. Who wants this bloody ass cup? That's what it looked like to me. I wouldn't drink the shit. I'm just being real. I wouldn't drink it. Would you drink it? Probably not coughed on it. Probably not stuck their finger in it. I wouldn't want it. <laughs> unfazed. Look at you. You unfazed. You unbothered. Yes. Yes, Scorpio. Love it. You're not even worried. Look, ignoring. You're going to ignore this person. It's like, hold up. When Scorpio wanted wanted you, where was you at? You flecked on me. You ran out on me. Some of you, again, this person gave you, like, STDs. Or they done gave some other people some X STDs. Now they want to come back with the dirty pain, dirty JJ. For what? Why? Don't nobody want that. So you know, laid up with all these other people. Now you want to come back to me? Mm-mm. 
but they're still holding some type of grudge against you. Why are they holding a grudge? Why the why the grudge? Cause you're doing better. Why the grudge? Reflecting. <laughs> why? Cause they look. Your light irritates their demons. Oh my goodness! Cause whatever they did to you, you either reflected back to them or it came back to them. And they started to see themselves for who they truly were. But the thing is, is Scorpio, you're shot. Remember how I said shining? You're shining, you're glowing, you're growing. And then this card comes out. Your light irritates their demons. So now they, they can't stand that you're shining and that you're glowing and stuff is happening for you. You know what? There's some toxic shit right here. I always just say I do not like doing these messy reads because they really irritate me. They make me mad. They piss me off. Because how can you be upset that you did somebody dirty? But now this person out here building their life back up, building themselves back up because you knocked their confidence. You know what I'm saying? You did stuff to them. And now they get themselves back on track to do better for themselves. And now you want to come fucking with them. See, even with this beauty card, you're starting to feel yourself again. Loving on yourself again. You're starting to feel good. Look at how she has these little shiny scales on her. Like you're feeling good. And now this person want to come in and disrupt that? Mm -mm. Don't let them. Unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. And so this is why they're coming in. Because all eyes on you, Scorpio. Take a new leap of faith here. The fool's at the bottom of the deck. Move towards something new. Don't go to the recycle bin. If you get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. All right, Scorpio. I'm going to end the video here. I hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate you all so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.